Hey folks, in today's episode, I'm gonna show you some preventative measures I'm gonna add to my garden for pest control. Organic. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. This is the Homestead Gardening Series. I'm not growing anything today in this episode, but I'm gonna show you guys a method I came up with for rodent control on my farm, uh, especially in the raised beds of the gardens. So one thing I wanted to uh, share with you guys is the method of baking soda with equal parts attractant, which I use Jiffy Cornbread Mix. I put them out in these little containers and the rodents will scurry about and maybe find that, eat it, and they'll it, they'll die because it kills them. Other methods is I'm dealing with repelling creatures, and this has the potential of even killing these creatures. So let, let, let me share with you guys what I discovered in my research to help keep my garden safe and clear from all kinds of pests. Insects, moles, voles, gophers, mice, rats, yeah. Do I have your attention? Let's go. This is the baking soda and cornbread mix that I told you about. I cut a hole in the side of a cottage cheese container, placed a lid over it uh, to protect it from the water when I run the sprinkler. That way the stuff doesn't get so soggy. And when you're using this method, just use four tablespoons of baking soda, four tablespoons of uh, whatever attractant you want to use, co uh, cornmeal, cornbread mix, cake mix, pancake mix, anything you can find that attracts the rodents and that's what you, this will kill them. The baking soda uh, affects, the baking soda is attracted to their stomach acid. So you don't need to add vinegar, you don't need to add water. It just, it, it just mixes with their stomach acids, acid and it bubbles. And since it bubbles faster than they can uh, pass, uh, the gas because their intestinal systems are longer than normal animals. Anyway, it causes them to well burst inside and they die. I have uh, met success with that stuff. So that's one method that I've been using in my garden. Another method, let me show you this. I went to the thrift shop and I found this little uh, cat. So I laid it here. It looks realistic. So I laid it here in my garden thinking that it may scare away some creatures. We do have seven cats on the farm and they do their fair share of uh, getting hold of the rodents. We also have this kite which simulates a hawk that uh, catches the wind, flies around the garden, and hopefully scares some other creatures away. Now another scarecrow I have is this little fence owl. He's put here and the wind will blow his head around. And hopefully when some creatures see that they will they won't hesitate but to skedaddle and get out of my garden like get the heck out of dodge yeah so in this garden bed you can see evidence of a rodent getting in here yep it's there and today i'm going to uh, pull a couple of tools out of my bag here literally <laughs> i got two bags i'm going to pull out anyway I uh, fortified the soil initially with some rabbit turds because this stuff you can put right into your garden. You don't have to cure it like you do chicken manure or cow manure. But this can go right into the garden. Over this, I'm gonna put a fresh bag of soil. Or two fresh bags of soil. Chop it out. I'm 
then I'm gonna rake it out. Now this alone, this is not gonna keep pests away. But this will work at keeping some pests away like gophers, moles, uh, voles. Yeah, it's, uh, look at that, coffee grounds. You just sprinkle that over there. They hate the smell of the coffee grounds. You spread that over there. Yeah, save up your coffee grounds, put it on your garden. It also adds some trace minerals and also nitrites. You need nitrogen. Now I'm adding a mulch, but the mulch blend I'm using is cedar. You know what cedar does? Cedar, if you put cedar bag, you put take a stocking, put some cedar shavings in there and put it around your house. It's gonna repel cockroaches, some types of ants, termites, carpet beetles, and those moths that eat your clothing. Putting it in the garden, get this, it repels mosquitoes, snakes yes it'll repel snakes a lot of types of insects and rodents the active ingredient that is so offensive to all these creatures is called thujone and that's the active ingredient it's also creates the uh you know it, it affects the receptors in the human the smell of cedar nice and calming yes it it affects your uh, your neurology it has that effect too but animals hate it and here's why it's deadly for rodents uh people who have pet rats gerbils mice guinea pigs it's not recommended you use cedar shavings in your bedding of your little pet because it goes in through the respiratory system and it causes liver failure. So you don't want to use this on your pets. It's okay to use it on your garden. It's harmless to your plants. So I'm going to go ahead and mulch with these shavings. Rake it out, get about a one to two inch layer over your soil. That way when you plant your seeds, it'll protect them from frost and from pests. And the garden smells so good. It also looks good too. Look at that. So with my variety of methods of controlling rodents and other pests on the homestead, especially the garden, I've been fighting this for a couple years now and coming up with safe methods. I like safe methods that are safe to my livestock and my pets and the um, beneficial wildlife like the owls because that baking soda cornbread mix does not hurt other predatory creatures who may eat a rat or a mouse that's been poisoned uh, that gets in their system and it ends up poisoning them. I don't want to do that. I want to be safe for the wildlife, but the rodents, they can go bye-bye, especially out of the garden. I don't mind if they go anywhere else, but not in the garden. Well, that's it on this episode, pest control. Snakes, rats, mice, spiders, cockroaches, ants, moths, uh, all kinds of moles, voles, yeah, very beneficial. Well, I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm, the garden series. Stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by subscribing and clicking that bell icon. That alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Give us a thumbs up. Click that share button. Sharing this video on your social media platforms, it helps us out a lot. Remember, always be safe, always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye-bye now.